Hi, this is Tom from Seaside Aquatics. Um, uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the RDF Eco 22 uh, gravity fed. Um, so when you receive the unit, the unit will come with a controller, the, the unit will come with a booster pump to clean the screen, the unit will come with the built-in motors um, and the sensors. So what you need to do is, the first thing you need to do is you need to um, uh, go to Home Depot and you need to connect, get the connections. This is the Funko from Home Depot. They are four inch to four inch, or you can get four inch to two inch, or four inch to three inch, depends on what, what size of piping that you, uh, you are using. But the bigger, the better for the gravity fed. So the gravity fed, I would recommend you four inch pipes. So a four inch pipe will give you approximately 3,000 gallons per hour. So you got three inlets here, uh, that will give you at least uh, 9,000 gallons per hour, but the unit maximum it will take is 6,000 gallons per hour. So you're gonna use two, or you might use three. Um, the extra one that you, that you don't use, we get the cap and we'll cap it off, okay? So this one, like I said, this, also, this is the waste tray. It also can go from four to two, or you can go four to four, go to your sewer or to, 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 to your waste. So this is the connector, the, the connection that you can get them at Home Depot. And when you um, uh, set up the uh, unit for gravity fed, make sure the water level is gonna line up with your waste tray. So this is the waste tray, it's the top of the waste tray. So the water level in the pond much line up or very close to it. So close to it means that the, um, when it line up, when everything shut down, the water will line up if, if it's, um, a little bit lower than the pond, the actual water will flow out and, and come out. Uh, if, but the, if this is higher than the, than the water line, then it's no good. Because when it's higher, you're not getting that pressure pushing the, the poop out. So make sure this line up with the water level in the pond is a must. Um, over here, you will have two holes over here that we designed for pump fits. For, for gravity fit, you don't, you don't need it, so you could cap it up, one on this side and one on this side. You don't need it, you cap it off. Over here is the outlet, uh, where the pump will pump back into the pond. It, it pumps into uh, a baking shower, a moving bed, or a pressure uh, filter. Right here, again, it, it's a four inch pipe. You, you can reduce it to wh whichever size the pump that you're using, three inch, four inch, or two inch. Right now, this pump that we're using, the Korea, is two inch, so two inch, go right directly into it, and then we just tie it, we just, uh, tie it down. Um, same thing with this one, you can use two pumps or you can use one pump. The actual hole, you can cap it off. Right here is the, um, the line for the, uh, uh, the, the booster pumps. So it's one and a half inch. So what you do is you need to go to Home Depot and you need to buy this part. This part is uh, one and a half inch reduced to uh, one inch because our uh, pressure filters, uh, I'm sorry, uh, our pressure pumps, the booster pumps is using one inch. So from here, you can run the line to here, and this, this part you can get at Home Depot without any problem. And I go one inch, make sure to apply silicone or tip so it won't leak. And from here, you connect to here, and from here, we're gonna connect to here to the spray bar. And this part, we include it with the unit. You can, you can glue it, and from here, you can glue it to here to spray, and it's clean the, 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 the filters, okay? So again, this, this pump is included as one inch in and one inch in out. Okay, and then right here, and we have a sensor. So the sensor, we connect it into the controller here, okay? And the, sen the sensor is, um, is consists of two flow valves, the top one and the bottom one. The top one and the bottom one, the top one will activate the cleaning cycle. So whatever is dropped down, it will activate the spray bar, it will spray, uh, activate the, the um, the drum, so it spin, and then once it's spray it clean, the water will come back up and will drag that that flow back back up again. Again, it up and down motion, so it will turn on and off the cycle. But when there uh, something wrong with the unit or something wrong with the the screen or whatever, where the pump the water is not going back up, the water continues to go down. Then the second flow will will go down. When the second flow go down, it will um, shut down the motor. It will shut down the spray pumps. It will shut down the return pumps. That is our um, safety uh, features. In case if anything wrong, the unit will shut down. 
rather than run 24-7. When it run 24-7, it will burn out the motor, it will burn out the, 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 uh, the booster pump, and it will burn down your, 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 your return pump. And this sensor right here, you can move up and down to the level that, that you need to. The deeper the sensor going down, the, the, the less cleaning. The higher it go, the more cleaning. So you, you just have to play around with it to get your, the right uh, uh, timing that, that you need. So the, the unit we'll plug into here, the first one, you plug the motor. The second one, you plug the, the uh, booster pump. And the third one is you plug in your uh, return pump. So, and then um, turn on and off. And this one is the auto, uh, manual button. When you press and hold it, it will activate and clean the, uh, the unit. The major problem that we have with this unit is that the customer don't understand is that their water that feed into the RDF is not enough. This unit can take 6,000 gallons per hour. But what happened was they, they're not using all of it. They're using two inch pipe or three inch pipe where the water go in is not enough. The water go in might be 3,000, 4,000 gallons of water that go into here. But the pump that they're using is too big. The pump that they're using is probably 6,000, 7,000 gallons per hour. So what happened was you have only 3,000 gallons per hour going to here, but you have 6,000 gallons going back out. So here is gonna be a shortage of water. When it's a shortage of water, it will turn off the, the pump or it will clean every five, every five, 10, 10 minutes, or every five, 10 seconds. So like I say, is you have to balance the flow. The flow going here, 6,000. The flow going out, back to the pond, must be 6,000 or lower. It cannot be more. If it's 7,000, 8,000 gallons, then you have a, a, a thousand or 2,000 gallons missing. And when that missing gallon is imbalanced, and when it's imbalanced, the unit will, will not work correctly. So make sure to measure the, the pipe that you're going out from the pond to here, and then the pump that pump the water back into the, the pond. Remember, this, this can take three, four inch, up to 9,000 gallons that can go into here, but the unit only can take maximum of 6,000. So you can have two bottom drain and maybe one, one skimmer, that's perfectly fine. Good, I say, at the estimate gallon per hour for four inch pipe is 3,000 gallons. So you, you use two of them and one for the, for the skimmer, that's perfectly fine. Uh, again, the, the, uh, the must remember is that when you install this unit, the way straight, you need to line up with the, the water uh, level in your pond and the, um, the flow going to here and the flow going back must be the same. Uh, if not, uh, there might be uh, an issue with the sensor activating the unit more often. So like I say, you have any questions, um, you can contact us at seasideaquatics at yahoo.com or you can call us at 714-491-7181. Um, with any questions, any comments, um, if you uh, have any problem with the unit set up or the unit, unit, you can contact us and we're more than happy to help you. Uh, thank you for your uh, time and thank you for your support.